Alright, everybody, today we are going to work with the carrier line. As usual, I will be using my Funtime or my Zeppeli. You guys think what I'll use. I'll use one of the two, and I'll be picking in 10 seconds. Go. Of course, I'm going to be using Funtime. It's the most powerful carrier in the game. So... Today, we are going to be showing you how to do the carrier line, as I said earlier. So, usually, it's best to go ahead and pull out fighters off the beginning to see what the enemy has, their ships, if they have any ships with anti-air. If there's any enemy carriers, you can see their planes coming off in the distance. And you're going to use your, your fighters to go ahead and shred through the aircraft. Also, you're going to want to get your carrier moving towards the enemy fleet. It's best to have one or two ships with you, though. Unlike me, I'm doing a dumb thing right now, but that's just me. One enemy carrier, no TU-15, so it's okay to go ahead and pull off your rocket pods. Oh, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, that's TU-15. Okay, I, my aim completely sucks today. I'm just going to I'm just gonna have to do machine guns. I just got to do machine guns. I was not planning on this, but this will have to do for now. Since my rock aim does need work, I have not played carriers in a while. Oh gosh, just kidding. This is gonna be annoying! I find this funny. I honestly find this funny. Okay. Pull off. And there we go, TU-15 down. And also, that ship has sunk. Oh shoot, I turned a little too far. Anyways, once you start getting your ships closer to the enemy fleet, you're gonna want to start using torpedo bombers. The dive bombers, they're really just for submarines, unless you can actually aim your rockets. The dive bombers on fun time deal more damage because bomb boost. Anyways, you're going to be pulling out your torpedo bombers, you're going to go in, you're going to find a good range, you're just going to drop torpedoes and return to your carrier. Remember to press X to land at your carrier. Planes have to be above the carrier. And you're just going to constantly torpedo spam, torpedo spam, torpedo spam. That's all you want to do with carriers. It's really just this simple. You just torpedo spam, you land, you rearm, go back out, torpedo spam. And if you can get close enough to a ship where you can just torpedo off the bat and then return to your carrier, the carriers can get very, let's just say, very massive damage. I remember this one match where I had like 4.3 million, 4.35 million, 4.38 million. Oh, those, that was fun. Just torpedo spammed at their spawn, which is actually a really bad idea. You're going to have to hope that there's no good ships in their spawn. Otherwise, you might as well just say goodbye and, uh, die. No, I'm not referencing, referencing that as a meme. Okay, I'm being anti-aired. Being anti-aired. Nice, nice. That is fun. That is very fun. Okay, those are fighters. Nice. I still don't trust the allied fighters. You always want to pull out your fighters if there's enemy planes coming towards you, because you don't know if they're going to be fighters, if they're going to be torpedo bombers, if they're going to be actually dive bombers. Just You just want to pull out fighters when enemy planes are coming your way. Just as a precaution. You can still use your rockets and all that. Oh gosh, I've, I've done a bad idea. I have done a bad idea. I have done a bad idea. Uh, yeah, this is why you don't rely on allied fighters. Send help. Okay, anyways. Land back at the carrier. Lost three torpedo bombers. Pull out fighters. It's best to try doing it when if they fly over your carrier, because then the planes just get deleted. Either your planes or his planes. His or her planes. And it tends to be the planes that spawn in that win that one. Planes, they are basically, they're the most overpowered thing in the game. No questions asked. 
If you have torpedo bombers, you just spam them. And easy victory. Of course, you didn't win that one. That was destroy the base. Just, okay. Carriers aren't really meant for destroying bases, though, so yeah. Let's go one more match. I'll probably stop it, stop the video midway through, because then you should, by then, know how to play carriers. Alright, so grab your fighters, launch them. Let's go up to about 200. Oh, I went a little over that, but that's okay. Don't know if the enemy fighters are going to be going above you or not. Okay, there's enemy planes. Hmm. Okay, so we know they have a carrier. Don't know what class, though we do know they have a carrier. Oh, those are dive bombers. The weird movements on those planes make them very obvious dive bombers. Because only dive bombers turn like that. Now you're going to want to keep fighters up around until you get closer to the enemy fleet. Oh, is that an Argo? Uh, that's an Argo. Fun, fun, fun. Now, I honestly don't get how people play Argo. Seeing that it has such a low air group. It is disgusting. Wait, is this guy just lagging? Could be. It could be just lagging. He could have actually had torpedo bombers for him to... Oh, shoot. He's coming at me with fighters. Am I superior? Am I superior? No, I'm not. I am not superior. I'm... I'm... I'm gonna lose these fighters. I'm gonna lose this one. Yeah. Oh, sad. Well, I prefer fun time over every other carrier, mainly because of how much fighters it has. You don't rely so much on how much actual planes you have, like, or how much torpedo bombers. You rely on how much fighters you have, because the fighters are what protect your carrier, mostly. Alright, so right around here, this is where you would start torpedo spamming. Land, land your fighters back at the carrier. You see the enemies on your radar. Nice, nice. They should go die, because they want to murder us, and they want to murder my bases, and I don't like that. So, we're going to go ahead, start torpedo spamming. Torpedo spamming. It's really annoying for the enemy, but for you, it's what saves your life. Okay, not later. Oh, by the way, TO-15 is usually just used for smaller ships. Oh, shoot. Uh, he's not that dumb, surprisingly. The problem is, my team doesn't really know how to aim their torpedoes well. Oh, come on, please hit it. Oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. Okay, this is where you'd want to pull out your TU-15. The enemy ship is nice and weak, and you're going to have to hope that they don't know how to anti-air. Okay, from the looks of it, this guy does not... Now remember, this is just only for a TU-15 if you have it. If you don't, then probably just pull out a second set of, well, a second set of torpedo bombers or fighters. Shoot. I don't like this. I don't like these planes. I don't like these planes. Okay, this guy is just laggy. There's nothing about it. Also, what he just did there, you don't want to be doing that. That wastes your air group makes your carrier basically unusable and then you have to go in with your secondaries which is going to get you killed because secondaries are unreliable period they deal absolutely no damage they're worse than a battleship secondaries by a lot in fact really the secondaries are only useful if you have like n like no fighters then you just have to use them for anti-air but really that's their only use That is really just their only use. So as we can see here, we have a sizable carrier force, all just torpedo spamming, except for the Aegis. I don't know what the Aegis is doing. Though we're just torpedo spamming, which is sinking their ships faster than they are sinking ours. I'm not sure if even if, if, if 
I do that. I cannot speak today. I'm not sure if we've even lost a single ship, which we haven't. And I don't plan to be the first. What? Wait, what? Did he just get that lucky? He actually got that lucky. Wow. How much HP was he on? To be that low. I'm honestly surprised. Okay, we lost the Emancipation, but that's okay. Destroyers are the biggest threats, other than submarines. Destroyers and submarines are basically your biggest threats. Well, this is Zeppelin anti-air spam. I said nothing. I just said nothing. I did not say Zeppelin anti-air spam. Nope. Not me. I think the next video will probably be on submarines or battleships. I'm not sure which one. I'll probably let you guys in comments choose. Uh, anyways, that is really all you need to know for carriers. Except, real quick. On graphics settings 8 and higher, you can see under the water, which makes it a lot easier to see submarines. I play on max graphics because I... I am one of those fortunate people to have a good computer. Which makes it so that you can see the shadows of submarines, or actually the submarines themselves, if you can look close enough. Or if you actually fly directly over them. Though so yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, learned something new about how to play carriers in this game, and that's about it.